I got Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> What up team, welcome to another episode of the Conquer Online Podcast. However, this episode is only exclusive to our Conquer AMZ community. Now today's episode is on a personality test and it is called 16 Personalities. The link will be uh, below. But the reason that we're having this conversation today is that I did this uh, test on Sunday and it just brought up a lot of conversations between us all. We all ended up doing. And the cool thing was that we had actually done this personality test maybe 18 months ago. And I know that with the guys, their personalities changed and it, we actually spent, you know, we had so much things to do, but we literally spent like all of Sunday afternoon going through all the different categories so when you actually do the personality test um, it gives you strengths weaknesses um, how you are with romantic partners uh, parenthood friendships career paths and work habits so what we actually are going to ask you at the end of this podcast is for you to actually do the personality test as well because it is so awesome for firstly personal reflection um, but also how you work with other people um, yeah. as well and let me tell you right now that it is so accurate 100% accurate. Like, like reading through um, my like description or whatever at the end, like I was like, holy shit, I've never felt so understood. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, it's insane. It's insane. Like yeah. Yeah. even mine's changed a little bit, but yeah, still so spot on. So I yeah, highly recommend you guys do this because it's a, uh, yeah, it, it can be really beneficial. Yeah. So, so the way I think we're going to roll here is that we'll maybe just, just quickly, really quickly go over our results and discuss them and then, um, you know, have, have a discussion about why this is actually important for an entrepreneur, someone starting an Amazon business, someone yeah. who's getting into the business world, how we think that this can positively impact yeah. them. So sh should we start with you, Chris? We'll just do a quick... quick... Yeah, we can roll with me. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm like, according to my personality, I'm one that likes to keep things all happy. So we'll start with me. We'll start it yeah. off. But yeah, I was a, I was a console, an ESFJ-A. Now, I'll read out my little sentence here. For consoles, life is sweetest when it's shared with others. People with this personality type from the bedrock of many communities, opening their homes, their hearts to friends, loved ones, and neighbours. So, what do you guys reckon? That's pretty. Uh, it's pretty, pretty lovey dovey. Pretty spot on. <laughs> Chris is a big lover. It's a big got, sweetheart. I got the feelings. I wear my heart, heart on my sleeve. Uh, but yeah, so basically, a little bit more about. It. I'll quickly go over my percentages. Uh, more extroverted, um, more observant. About in the middle for the observant and intuitive. Uh, thinking and feelings, I'm way more feelings. Judging, I'm way more judging and I'm a little bit more assertive. So. Yeah. I think yours, like we obviously went through all of it, but just even that with that first sentence from the introduction, it is that you are a massive, you know, social butterfly. You very much like to keep the peace. And I feel like, you know, in our dynamic, we've got, you know, several different relationship dynamics here, whether it's you know, we're getting married, we're siblings, we're all business partners and we live together as well. So I feel like, you know... And that's the beautiful part about the, the results. It actually breaks all of those up, right? So it, it shows that personality type and how it's actually, how it goes in the workplace, It tell, how it goes with relationships. And it was pretty accurate, would you say, Chris, for yeah. all, all round? Oh, 100%. Like, and even you said, like, keep the peace, but also, like, like social butterfly. Well, it's the reason. It's like a combination. Like, I like the social events because I like to have fun with everyone and make sure everyone's having a good time and I'm having a good time and I build those relationships. So it's like keeping the yeah. peace through building relationships. Yeah. yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, don't let that trucker moustache fool you. Chris is a massive sweetheart. He's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's a lover. Um, I thought it was so accurate, man, your personality. Um, like, and that's why you're so good at networking because you have those people skills and you're really able to like connect with people easily and qu quite quickly too. And I thought that like, because we went through obviously in depth as a team, the whole thing. And I thought it was just so spot on. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like a, a few things that I just wanted to point out from there. Massive on the, you know, social butterfly front, but something that was hilarious because it's like, oh, social butterfly, you kind of feel like you're out and about, but then it's like very good with numbers like structure, yes. which was like completely, I was like, that doesn't match, but that's exactly what Chris is like, like, like yeah. you're the HR cool. guy for a reason. We call Chris our H guy, HR guy. He handles all the numbers and it just... I think it comes down to as well as like... Uh, my sort of like tedious tasks like I've got I've got this sort of like work ethic and we speak we speak about it how it's like I just I get things done I keep working keep working yeah. so when it comes down to like numbers and stuff that people might think oh that's a bit boring or like not very exciting for someone who has a different sort of personality I'm just like I'm just going to get it done and I don't mind doing it like it's, it's yeah. just sort of my work ethic and my which fits into the personality and then I like to go and enjoy it after <laughs> that's yeah. right get the work done and then go enjoy it after yeah, yeah. alright so 
that, that's that's basically mine. We won't. I guess we won't go too much deeper on that one. But who wants to go next? Franz, Eric, Franz. You up, I'll, I'll, I'll go next. Let's so, go. Let's go. my um, mine actually was pretty much stayed the same from when I did it eighteen months uh, to now, and I yeah, it was um for a very heavy on the on the masculine energy front, but I'm very much um, embracing it. So I got a commander. Uh, it is E N T J A, um, and the first uh, you know little sentence in the introduction is commanders are natural born leaders. People with this personality type embody the gifts of charisma and confidence and project authority in a way that draws crowds together behind a common goal. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty spot on. Like, uh, I guess, where, where do you want to start? Like, you're, you're a commander. You definitely, you know how to lead. You're a great leader. Like, you are. You're a great, confident leader. Yeah, no, I know. From a person, oh, from a relationship side, yeah. maybe you do like a little bit of command. But from a business side, you're like, you're, you're very, you're very strong-willed. You're very um, good at like getting what you want done and getting things across the line. And it comes down to not just business when it comes to your like sporting ability and probably through your whole career, whatever you've done, you've achieved really well because you're very confident in your own abilities. So I think that's a great uh, trait of the commander, which I think you show. Yeah, and that was all the way throughout, right? And um, in the strengths and weaknesses too. And one of the, the strengths I remember with yours, Veronica, was efficiency. Now, that's like a massive uh, trait of the commander is, and I'll give you an example. When we're doing our whiteboard sessions, it's Veronica who wants to get the whiteboard out, get the, the pen, and she wants to be there writing the shit down on the whiteboard. She wants to be leading that, and she wants things to be efficient. She wants systems in place. And that's really part of the commander um, personality type. And it's, it's to a T. And like you said, it sounds very masculine, and even some of the traits of the commander sound a bit harsh. But it, it, it's, it's really not. It's just like truly if you think of any great leader, you, you have to have those traits mm. to, to be a leader. So, um, yeah, with your personality, it was, it was spot on. What were just quickly like for introvert, extrovert, all of those, what were yours? Uh, I had, I was more on the extrovert side, um, intuitive, thinking, judging, and assertive. What I did find interesting that like, you know, if you see the percentages, it's all kind of in the middle. Right. Um, but um, yeah, the, those are the sides that I kind of um, went to. And just quickly, what you um, said in terms of yeah, I do I do agree with a lot of these traits. But there was one thing that I didn't agree with, and it was like on the romantic side. Mm. I'm a big one for like learning and leaning into uh, masculine and feminine energies, and I believe that everyone has those energies uh, within yeah. them. And then it depends in what scenario and who, what kind of relationship you have with that person. Of when you're, you know, in a business front, I think I, I have a very strong masculine energy. But in a relationship front, yeah. I like to be, you know, more feminine. Chris more is the feminine. alpha dog. And I, yeah. Well, I don't see I don't see you as like my commander or my leader when it comes to relationships. Like, it, but when it comes to business, I think there's a little bit different. Yeah, it's and that's different. And, but it? that goes well with our personalities. Like, I like the structure, and you like to lead. So it's like I, I ask you what I need to be done next. Yeah. So I'm going to go do it, and you like to give me that next t task. That, that could so. seriously be a whole other podcast on its yeah. own, being of like you know the masculine and feminine energy and how yeah. how it happens. Same. You know, you guys are you know getting married but you're doing business together. But anyway, we won't get into that now. Um, uh, yeah, should let's we get into yours, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's yeah. get into yours, Eric. All right, so my personality type was advocate, I-N-F-J-A. And so advocates may be the rarest personality type of all, but they certainly leave their mark on the world. Idealistic and principled, they aren't content to coast through life. They want to stand up and make a difference. For advocate personalities, success doesn't come from money or status, but from seeking fulfillment, helping others, and being a force for good in the world. So it really talks me up there. Um, it's, a, it's, it's a pretty good little paragraph. And just quickly, I'll, what, what do you guys think of that? Just quickly going through everything. I, I love the whole thing. It's like that you're a, you're a deep thinker. You don't take things on the surface. You like to really go like into the heart of things and not just like see like I want to know why that is not just oh someone's told me you won't you won't take someone's response like straight up and be like oh yeah I believe it you want to know like deeper why why they're saying that or what they want or like what they're trying to get at or what they're meaning by that or who they are and that's a very good trait to have especially when it comes to business and problems like that that you want to know like how to fix a problem and get to the root of it so you can actually make it better or improve on what the yeah. issue is. So that's really great for business-wise and on a personal thing that you like to know people for their true core rather than their, what they might oh, seem yeah. like on the outside. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And, to, and more so on the business side, and I don't think it was kind of touched on in that specific paragraph, but more so from the things that we read over on the weekend was one that you do, you're more so like a, a visionary, that, you know, you like to look at the bigger picture, you come up with the ideas. So when we have, you know, 
we have businesses together, we have multiple businesses together. So those kind of brainstorming sessions, they're fun because you do bring a lot of suggestions, ideas, and, and you know, ideas that are outside of the box. And that, you know, that's fun to have, you know, what can we do? We could do this, we could do this. Oh, I've never considered about that. And that's what you bring to those, cons uh, to those discussions. But then also having that larger view but then also being like, okay, well, what's the purpose? What's the goal? What's the deep meaning of why we would actually do that? Yeah. So it's not just like throwing, you know. A, a lot of mine was yeah. about, yeah, like that I look for things on a like soul level a lot, like yeah. a lot of a deep level. And that was all the way throughout. So, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, and just quickly, so in terms of percentages, so I'm the only one out of the three of us that's an introvert, apparently. So I'm living with two extroverts as an introvert. Um, so yeah, I'm introverted, um, I'm intuitive over observant, uh, I'm feeling over thinking, that was 51% compared to 49%, so it was down the middle, um, but yeah, feeling over thinking, judging over prospecting, and assertive over turbulent, um, which was interesting. So yeah, that's my personality type. Um, yeah. It yeah. was so pretty similar. I was actually like just looking at your percentage, hearing your percentages. We had similar percentages except for the extroverted, introverted to a degree. Like it yeah. wasn't. We're not too far off. So like it's just the slight, slight differences there. And I wouldn't you're, think. You're observant. You're intuitive. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, okay. okay so two, two out of the two five, out of five. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. But I think like I guess we want to touch on why we were doing this. Veronica obviously spoke about it at the start. Is because we did this also become like we work together as a business, we live together, but it's like just great to understand each other better, understand how your work colleagues are, who your your teammates are, who your partners are, who your family are, so you can actually get along with them and work better and be more productive. Because being yeah. productive is huge, time is money, and if you guys are having issues in your relationship or your in your business, it could be because you're not understanding your own personality. So it's really good to do this test for that. Do you agree on that, or do you have anything to add on? Yeah, more? well, I guess I wanted to add to that 100% of like having a deeper understanding of you know how you know for me personally how you guys think and how you're feeling and how your reactions are to certain things that I say you know there's a level yeah of deeper understanding I um, mean therefore you can cater things but then more so relevant to you guys who are watching our group a lot of you are actually I do know that a lot of you um, you know are bringing your partner on board which is awesome to, to see because it is great having that support um, unit behind you but a lot of you are doing this by yourself so this test is super still beneficial for you because it enables you to reflect on yourself and really I think actually look at your strengths so for example yeah. for mine I was looking at mine and as I said it's like they're very almost harsh and like very masculine and especially when I was younger being a bossy girl like you know that you don't want to be called that and it was seen as a, in a negative light especially for a woman whereas if a, ma a male or a teenage boy or a kid is bossy you know he's got great leadership skills so when I was younger I saw it as a negative and I got you know a lot of things in my early 20s I was like oh you're quite aggressive and I would take that to heart but actually I'm not aggressive I'm assertive no, bitch, I'm just or, a commander. yeah exactly yeah exactly <laughs> right and being able to instead of being self-conscious it'd be like that has if you feel like that that's got nothing to do with me that's on on them so I've been able to you know the, over the last few years but kind of doing this uh, personality test has reinforced that that yeah. I can read these and be like yes they are my strength I'm going to lean into them because that's you know my natural gift so how how can I implement these gifts into my business to make my business thrive so instead of instead of being like oh I don't want to be like this because society said it's ugly for a girl to be to have leadership yeah and, and, and and everyone in the group is here because um we all want more right we want to start a business we're all looking for more and to to really break out of the matrix i sometimes call mm -hmm. it out of society's norms um, it's not easy and it really does take a level of really knowing yourself and understanding yourself and like you said knowing your strengths because you have to use those as much as possible so that's why this personality test for you sitting at home and getting ready to start your Amazon business is so important is because you have to know what your strengths are, then go by that and that will directly be implemented into the business that you're starting. And, you know, if you can look at your weaknesses and um, you can outsource weaknesses, right? If, if yeah. you're not good at certain aspects, you can get other people mm -hmm. to come in and help you. Um, but from a personal development standpoint, even now, and we've been doing personal development for years, like I, I read through this and I've learned more about myself and I understand myself yeah. more. And that's why we think that everyone after this video should go and do this personality test and even drop your personality type in the comments below. So, um, you know, you can... Let's have a discussion. And, yeah, yeah, let's have like a chat. You, Other like people, you, on, you, like can, you can start mingling. Like you touched on the weaknesses and things. Like these are the things that could be holding you back. So if you understand that maybe like you are, something does affect you, but you don't actually like 
approach that and you just let it go on, that might be one of the reasons why you're not getting over that next that next yeah, hurdle yeah. because you're because you don't understand your own personality. So you might think you do, but understanding your strengths and weaknesses is huge for being successful going forward in any business. In my opinion, um, I'm pretty sure you guys agree with me too. Absolutely, <laughs> that's that's why. Um, yeah, guys, so go go and get this done now after this video. Post whatever your personality type is, like the you know advocate INFJ or whatever, in the comments below, and you never know, you might meet someone who has the same personality type as yeah. you. Become business partners, like, yeah, let's like you know, like did you did you agree with it? Were you shocked? Were you surprised? Yeah. Like it, yeah, it's a super interesting. Give it to your your partner and your friends as well, because it, it it will really ignite awesome conversation and we're obviously, uh, you know, we're, we're curious to see what you guys uh, do as well. I want to throw one more thing in there. If you yeah. scroll to the bottom, name one person that you matched up with because you guys are going to laugh at mine. I'm going to go first. I got, I, I got Taylor Swift. <laughs> I mean, you do have a pretty voice when you sing. I got Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> what Steve Jobs do? I don't know. I've got the, ra the rarest one of all. What's the rarest one of all? You just can only give I one. I've got like a, like a sick like masculine one I can use, but then I've got like a. You can only give one. What's your? I'm Mother Teresa. Yeah, I like that. How <laughs> oh, oh, good. Perfect. Wow. All right, team. The link is below. Go and do it. Chuck your uh, personality down below in the comments. Um, let's have a discussion, and we'll see you next time. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye.